All right, this is Sports Top Stories today. Some pretty big stories out there. <clears throat> First, the NFL schedule was released this evening. Uh, Seahawks and pa Packers will face off. That seems to be a very, uh, so far, very uh, anticipated game. Going to see uh, Russell Wilson and Aaron Rodgers square off. In other news, Pacers coach Frank Vogel uh, made a statement today that said he is coaching for his job with the Pacers. That's, you know, Larry Bird, his original decision was Jim O'Brien. Um, and then when he left, Frank Vogel got hired. So I think that if the Indiana Pacers lose this first-round matchup with the Hawks, Frank Vogel will not be the coach. Um... You know, these last three months really have been awful for the Pacers. They've only had a couple of really good standout games. Um, everybody knows that Roy Hibbert has really been struggling. There's been a lot of turmoil in, the, in just the locker room, and I think that that's really hurting the Pacers down the road. Another NBA news, Phil Jackson and James Dolan, are just right now they're kind of clashing over the personnel and who is going to be on their staff and to be honest I could kind of see this problem coming into this James Dolan likes a different style of team I think James really liked uh, Mike Woodson and he kind of liked the way things were because that's kind of how he built the team Phil Jackson definitely has different plans for this team and it's how much Dolan wants to give up. Uh, I think that this Knicks team has potential to do very well, but it, it's all into it's. It all comes down to everybody agreeing and going together. I think that they could be a sleeper next year if they can get Carmelo Anthony back and they can get everybody on the same page. I know that they can all definitely work together uh, and make a playoff run potentially um, last year during the playoffs uh, during this time Tracy McGrady was playing for the San Antonio Spurs and now he is minor league pitching um, he got picked up and he was working he, we knew that he was going to be working on uh, his pitching and baseball, that's a popular thing for uh, basketball players to do. He gave it a shot, and he made it. So, uh, congratulations to him, and uh, I hope he does very well. In other news, last night, Albert Pujols nails his 500th career home run, uh, Definitely, he's had a remarkable career, and I think that there's more to come from him. Last year was not a great year for him. A lot of just not very, it just, he wasn't hitting the way he was before. There was a lot of suspicion of PEDs. So now he's kind of coming back, and he's settling down in L.A., and I believe that uh, he's going to continue to roll on. Now, coming up to the NFL draft, the biggest story of the day has been Jadamian Clowney. He's kind of, a lot of critics right now are saying that he is just a normal defensive back. There's nothing extraordinary about him. And I think that his draft stock has definitely gone down since the end of the college football season. And he definitely has not done as well on this on this combine that I would have liked him to. I think the, the combine does a really good job of weeding out the popular players from the players that can really play. That's where you see the great guys like Robert Mathis. They just come out of these really small colleges and are able to play. And, you know, just 
a lot of players come out of these situations in these smaller colleges and they can play and those are the guys that wind up in the very top. That's why I don't really think that Johnny Manziel is going to do anything in the NFL. He has a better chance of going back to his parents' Texas oil farm and he'll make more money there than he ever will in the NFL. So, just got off a little bit. That's my draft breakdown, I guess. Uh, tonight, there is a lot of playoff action. Currently, at 8.42 p.m. Um, in Miami, the Bobcats and the Heat right now. It In the third quarter, 66-62. Miami is leading. Um, Al Jefferson came back. He's got 12 points, 9 rebounds on his way to a double-double. LeBron James um, has kind of been shut down at halftime. He had 18 points. Now he has 21. He's played 25 minutes. And then he's got 4 rebounds. Other leading scores, Chris Bosh with 16 Mario Chalmers has picked up 11 for the Heat. Michael Kid Kid Gilchrist has a 15-point game. He's definitely been playing well. Gerald Henderson has 10 points for the Bobcats. Luke Ridnour has three. Just a lot of guys stepping up for the Bobcats, and they are still in this game. Other games happening right now, Mavericks and the Spurs in the second quarter with 10-14 left to go. It's the Spurs by two. They're up 30-28 to 28 at home right now. Uh, Tony Parker's put up six points. Manu Ginobili has put up five. You know, they're looking good going in. Marco Bellinelli also has five. The Dallas Mavericks looking good. Sean Marion has six points. Monte Ellis has put up eight they definitely have a chance to take down the Spurs. Uh, the Mavericks are looking to even up the series at 1-1. One and one. Later on tonight, Portland Trailblazers and Houston Rockets. You can watch that one on NBA TV. A little, just a little bit of NBA playoffs there for you. So I thank you for listening. Have a wonderful evening.